Well, changes to Bloomington's bus routes will have to wait at least until next January. As Mitch Legan reports, officials decided to put route improvements on hold because of the coronavirus. This route uh, leaves the downtown area, comes down West 3rd Street to Curry Pike, and then down to the Walmart area. Bloomington Transit spent the last two years realigning bus routes to meet demand. Then the coronavirus hit. That has certainly changed a number of things for us, and our primary concerns about implementation of the service changes are what impacts will we have that are long-term in terms of the budget. May says it's too early to tell, but the virus and lockdown could have significant impacts on funding from the state transportation department, passenger revenue, income tax revenue, and federal gas tax revenue. Plus, nobody knows if IU will hold in-person classes this fall, so student revenue could plummet. And when the governor's stay-at-home order gets lifted, are people going to use public transit like they did before? Because they aren't now. We're down from 16 to 17,000 to about 1,400 daily right now, so you know, less than 10% of what we normally carry on a typical weekday. In 2018, Bloomington Transit started looking at realigning bus routes according to demand. Transit ridership had been falling. Now, ridership's down more than 90%. So the Transit Board of Directors will wait until later this year to decide on the bus route changes. If our revenue goes down significantly for 2021, we might have to change our service levels there. So best to have a, a good handle as to what our revenue sources are going to be for next year before we implement service changes. And funding isn't the only question. Currently, 28 percent of Bloomington Transit's drivers are on leave for a variety of reasons, and some might not come back. We don't know how many of our employees will be returning. Obviously, we have to have sufficient number of drivers to be able to provide the service levels that we want to provide. May says bus service will continue for now with a limited Saturday schedule, but they'll need more time to determine the long-term impacts of the coronavirus. May expects those to be significant and long-lasting. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Mitch Legan.